Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make gingerbread cookies. So let's get started. You'll need one cup of shortening and I use the sticks. I just throw the whole stick in my mixer. It's at room temperature and it's nice and soft so it'll mix easier. So this one cup or one stick will go right into the mixer. Along with one cup of molasses. To this I'll add in one cup of packed brown sugar. A half a cup of water in one egg. Now to pour in the half a cup of room temperature water. And the one egg that I have at room temperature. to one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And here's the vanilla extract, the one teaspoon. Now I'll mix this all together until it's well combined. To this I'll add in six cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground clove, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. To the six cups of flour, here is my one tablespoon of bacon powder, one tablespoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground cloves and one teaspoon of cinnamon. So now I'll mix this all together. Now I'll turn my mixer off. I'll place a little flour on my surface. I'll take the dough out of my bowl and I'll divide it into three pieces. Then I'll wrap it up, put it in the fridge for about three hours. So I'll divide the dough into three pieces. One, two, and three. Then I'll wrap them up in saran wrap and place them in the fridge for about three hours. Once you take your dough out of the refrigerator after the three hours, you can preheat your oven to 350. You want to lightly flour the surface again and roll out your dough. You probably want it about a fourth of an inch thick. And then you can cut it into the shapes that you want. So whatever kind of cookie cutter you want. But I'm making gingerbread. And you'll place them about one inch apart onto your ungreased cookie sheet. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes in the preheated oven and then remove it from the cookie sheet and cool on a wire rack and then decorate them when it's cool. I took my cookie dough out of the refrigerator so now I'll lightly flour my surface and roll out the dough. You want to roll it about a fourth of an inch thick. I have my oven on 350. Now I'll take my cookie cutter. And cut out the gingerbread. I'll place them on my ungreased cookie sheet. About an inch apart.
and I'm placing them about an inch apart and it's on an ungreased cookie sheet. So now I'll continue on and cut some more. I have 12 gingerbread on my ungreased cookie sheet. So now I'll place this in my 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. So into the oven it goes. Now I have my second part of the dough because I cut it into three. So I have flour on my surface. I'll take it out of the saran wrap, roll it out. So I'll take the teddy bear and I'll make these out of teddy bear. Now here's the third piece. So I'll make two more teddy bears. So there's 12 teddy bears on this ungreased cookie sheet. So, so far this batch has made 24 cookies. I'll make this one out of angels. We'll see how many it makes. So it's been 12 minutes and I took the gingerbread out of the oven. I'll let it cool before I remove them from this cookie pan. This batch made a total of 33 cookies total. They slide right off the cookie sheet. I can just literally pick it up. So now I have my cookies off to the side and I'll let them cool before I decorate them. So now I have my little gingerbread man. I put in about three tablespoons of powdered sugar and about a teaspoon of milk and I just mixed it. I just made enough to show you how I'm going to decorate the cookies. So I'll take some of this icing and I'll put it all over the gingerbread. I'm just doing the outline of the cookie and that's what it would look like icing all the cookies. And I'll decorate the front while the icing is still wet. I'll put some chocolate morsels for his eyes. So I have the mini morsels. And I'll put some buttons going down his shirt. And here's my little gingerbread man. So I'll do this to the rest of my cookies. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Merry Christmas.